Hello everyone and welcome to Ask Me About My SQL 5.7 to 8. For this interview, we have Vinicius Gripta, Lead Database Engineer at Percona. Vinicius has been working for Percona for almost six years and has 18 years for database experience. Vinny is also a co-author of the book Learning My SQL that you can find it on Amazon. Welcome Vinny, how are you? I'm good, thanks Edith. I uh, hope everyone that is hearing this is also good. Glad to have you here. Okay, before upgrading the latest MySQL 8 release, people have many questions, Vinny. Uh, with your mm -hmm. help, we are going to answer some of them. Okay, cool. Let's go. Okay. Question number one. What does it mean, end of life, for an open source project like MySQL 5.7? Okay, uh, this means the end of a uh, very important version of MySQL. Uh, because it it came with a lot of new features and at that time like it, it really made the MySQL change its level to a more professional in nature way. Uh, the end does not it is not sad because MySQL it is now here. Uh, we are at the moment of this video we are at eight oh thirty three, so it's been a while that MySQL 8 is around. So it means a very major project, like all the best that yeah. we had in MySQL 8 with new features. So mm -hmm. it, it is not a sad ending. It means the the birth of MySQL 8 and uh, it's still open source as well. So it, it means only great things tr that are coming. Okay, let's see what, what things are coming now. So yeah. uh, I, I know that you are supporting MySQL 5.7 for a long time. What are your thoughts on that release now that is approaching end of life? Uh, it is a bit concerning because we have we still have a large base of uh, community and customers that are still using MySQL 5.7. Yeah. So for those who are not um, purchasing the, the Percon extended end of life for MySQL 5.7, this means the end of uh, basically support. So no more features, no more bug fixes, uh, no more updates. Mm. Uh, and for production database that requires compliance and, and all this stuff, uh, uh, you, you need to have some planning, some plan in place because uh, once you reach the end of life, like um, you will be basically on your own. That's right. And so what excites you or frustrates you more about MySQL 8? Uh, let's start with the good things first. Uh, MySQL 8 came like with lots of great features. Uh, the one like InnoDB cluster, which uses group replication, is a very good high availability solution nowadays. Uh, it is a very strong competitor for Galera cluster uh, that we at Percon we have Percon Extra DB cluster, but also Maria uh, DB cluster. And it's very major, it's in-house, so uh, it comes uh, embedded in the product. Uh, it is not a new layer like uh, like Galera. So this is a very good thing for those who are uh, searching for, for ser such HA solution. Uh, we can mention some new parameters, uh, instant algorithms, faster DDLs, uh, a lot of new operations that can be done online. And at the same time, one thing that frustrates me is the upgrade and upgrade method. Because once you move to MySQL 8, there is no way back in terms of uh, downgrade. Like you need to uh, import and export your data or have a standby server or something like that. So upgrade nowadays, they need to be treated much more carefully. Uh, than we did in MySQL 7. And uh, I think that those are my happiness and frustrations with MySQL 8. Yeah, but I can imagine that with the time this is going to improve, right? With the time, I think the maturity is going to come, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, the, the bigger problem nowadays, like, uh, it's not a problem, but it's a reality. Every time, and it doesn't matter if it's MySQL, Postgres, Mongo, Oracle, Every time you do a major upgrade, you get out of one version, you're going to a very, that has a lot of changes. 
-hmm. like it causes some disruption uh, more than like you read the release notes you try you do tests and everything uh, it, those are big chains you need to to take them carefully but there are things that can help you like uh, my sql 8 comes with uh my sql shell and inside my sql shell you have utilities and one of the utilities for this is the upgrade checker uh, every time you run it he will tell you oh you need to fix this you need to fix that or no you are good to go i don't i didn't find any errors so it really helps uh, i recommend everyone that's trying to upgrade you can run the upgrade checker on your mysql 5.7 database it, it won't change anything it's just a check it will check a few parameters so no worries uh, it's a it's a very nice tool to have because then you can plan in advance if there is something that requires a major change in the application you can quick like identify it quickly and plan how to fix it yeah okay thank you for that so last question um we know that there is people who are already using percona mysql what are your suggestions for them uh, for those who are customers, um, uh, and they are purchasing the extend of life support. We are going to still provide fixes, uh, for example, high severity uh, uh, bugs, CVEs, for example. So we are going to fix that. And most important, not only that, but the whole ecosystem. So if you're using extra backup, we are still going to provide fixes for extra backup extra db cluster so the whole ecosystem ecosystem will be covered uh in this aspect you have a full protection even after the end of life uh still for community users and also our customers uh i would recommend starting checking uh my sql 8 uh as soon as possible if you're our customer, reach out to support or reach out to your managed service team that are helping you, your consultants, uh, so you can plan uh, without being in a rush. Like we, we, we are always helpful. Try to help and share experience. We during this period we discovered a lot of uh, how tos and how to best practice, how to have a more smooth transition. So I would take this opportunity. Uh, to reach out to us in forums, social media, uh, our platform to question us uh, and we will try to help. That's nice. So our forum is really a great tool to reach us yeah. up and ask us about this, the things. Thank you, Vinicius. If mm -hmm. you yeah, if you who are watching this video, you want to know more about the migration from MySQL 5.7 to 8, Vinny made an interview the last week so you can find it here also there are more questions for many people who have these concerns and you can learn more uh, you can contact also with vinicius on linkedin and you can follow percona on social media thanks vinicius and have a great time thanks thanks guys you too bye bye <laughs> bye